Hey everyone, welcome back to Safe Fitness Training. I'm going to be talking about one of the most important topics within the realm of exercise today. But before I get started, there's three PDFs down below to help you actually get results from exercise. Whether you're using gym machines, whether you're wanting to do body weight exercises at home, or there's even a PDF for dining room table exercise more geared towards seniors and elderly. There's also two courses for at home and for machine course. You buy the machine course, you get both for free. <laughs> All of that pitching aside, there is something very important about the philosophy behind exercise. What I'm talking about is the way that we look at it, our mental perspectives and how we approach it really matters. One of the wisest mentors I've ever had once wrote, that there are people who appreciate and understand the importance of philosophy in their lives, and then there are the foolish. This is very true for exercise as well. A lot of people at the gym, they, they assume and think in their minds that they're doing something to the barbell or to the dumbbell or to the whatever it is that they're lifting, the, you know, the bar of the device, the machine they're using at the gym. And so they think, I'm going to do this to the machine and get results. But what we're actually doing, or what our goal of exercise is, is to create a stimulus on the muscles. We're working on the muscles, not the weights at all. The weights are just the delivery mechanism. When we all know too that we can simply resist against an immovable object and still get incredible hypertrophy results from all of that muscle growth. You see people thinking that the amount of times that they lift this, this, uh, this, this barbell magically will do something to their body. And these are also the folks that really haven't seen results in their own lives and bodies. And, and so it's this, this, this whole working against oneself when going to the gym uh, feels really counterproductive until you view it in a way that actually improves your body which is that the workout itself is a stimulus. And what this says about the whole entire workout as well is that we need a whole lot more rest time than people automatically would assume. Making weights go up and down is a terrible way to describe exercise because if, <laughs> if that's the objective, then we'll do anything to move those weights up and down. We'll use the wrong muscles, we'll put our neck into it, we'll use momentum, we'll throw our hips into it, we'll do this number. All of that's unsafe, unnecessary, unproductive, and it's not helping to grow the muscle in the area that we're actually looking for, bicep. Of course, what this looks like is very slow reps. This can be five seconds. I tend to move with 10 second reps. It's pretty simple. We're organisms, so we need to look toward biology to get the most out of exercise and really exercise in a way that's rational for organisms. So many people, there's a lot of other mythology, not just this, but there's a, a lot of other mythology, of course. You'd see a lot of trainers at 24-hour fitness when I uh, was first starting in the fitness industry. They're like, if you do my workout, you'll look like me. And, you know, of course, it's just normal volume training workout, <laughs> you know, and um, there's always, it's, it, I can't imagine what's going on in the trainer's head too, because they're like, oh, he's not actually getting the results. And, and I don't understand why. Well, of course it's genetic. You know, I mean, if we look to biology, uh, every single organism is going to be very different. You know, every plant's very different. You know, next door neighbor's plants are growing like crazy. And then, you know, of course over here, uh, there's not a whole lot of growth, of course. The pot has to do with that. So we're talking about the environment here for humans as well. The organism really does matter. Genetics are the number one reason that you don't look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't look like him, you know? There's something that we always go for within the realm of rational exercise. As fitness trainers, we will tell our clients to focus deeply on the muscles that they're using, creating that mind-muscle connection while they're doing these slow repetitions. On one hand, this sends 30% more electrical signal into the muscles from the nervous system. But on the other hand, what you're doing is you're really priming your mind to understand that this is something you're doing to your muscles. It's not something you're doing to the dumbbell or to the 
to the machine, to the leg press or whatever it is. This is just, those are just tools that are acting on your body. Oh, the good way to express this, I'm a guitar player. And, you know, uh, if I was to play all day, every day, my fingers would be bleeding. It would be too much stimulus to, in order to get a callus. Of course, the adaptive response is the callus that we build from playing guitar. And it's simply a side effect. So it's very similar to the way that exercise is the stimulus and then the adaptive response is like everything you get from it which is hypertrophy muscle growth is a side effect from exercise from the stimulus itself the workout is actually a negative threat on the body what it does is it sends a signal and it says look in order to sustain this type of existence you have to build grow adapt in order to maintain this type of activity I mean, of course, this feeds into all other types of metaphors into one's life. So, you know, when someone starts exercising, they see that they're capable of very likely if they're doing high intensity strength training, a program like my course or, you know, any of the one on one personal training options that someone can do, they find they strengthen their bodies so deeply in a very short amount of time. It's a metaphor and other things as well, of course, <laughs> knowing that I'm capable of so much more than I was before. All of these things change our philosophy as well. Perspective really is everything. And when we look at this, like we are working to create a stimulus on our muscles in that short amount of time, then that puts us in a place to where we finally get it. We understand, oh, that's why these guys are exercising this way. Huh because of science, you know, because of biology, because that's how the body works, you know. And, uh, it, you know, it's, it's pretty funny, it's, it's very funny, you know, how skeptical people are when they stumble upon high-intensity strength training, all of these principles, they're like, nah, there's no way. You know, the very cover of Body by Science says, you know, 15 minutes, full body in 15 minutes, and that's bizarre for most people, you know. And it's because they really haven't been looking at it from that perspective, that their body is simply an organism that has to go through that same exact process, just like everybody else's stimulus organism response. Once people really do understand that, then exercise really does change for them. And then it does, like I said, it opens up those doors. So regardless of who we are, no matter what age group, that's the stimulus that our body needs, simply working our muscles to momentary muscular failure is going to do it for you and give you your, I guess, maximum biological genetic potential. Eventually, keep working every single week. Hope that you live a longer life through the science of strength training.